friends, today I want to share with you a very special pattern. It is special because there's a story behind it. A bit's friend on Facebook, Valerie Fanning, I hope my pronunciation is correct, contacted me and asked me to share this specific pattern she worked on with all of you. And of course, I've been more than glad to accept. The pattern is a particular version of the Russian spiral. This is a classic Russian spiral. You can see that all the stripes go on the same direction. Valerie's Russian spiral has crossing stripes. Amazing! The pattern is very easy to make, but for experience, I know that this kind of project requires patience, a lot of patience and a lot of samples to be done. So, I hope you will appreciate Valerie's effort and kindness for sharing her work with all of us as much as I do. To create this crossing stripes Russian spiral, I've used sides 8 and sides 11 seed beads. But once you understand the concept under the pattern, you can combine different sizes of beads. There are infinite possibilities for this pattern. To create my version of this crossing stripe Russian spiral, you need size 10 John James needles, bead weaving thread, Size 8 seed beads in two different colors, size 11 seed beads in two different colors. Then, if you want to create a bracelet with a clasp, you will need nylon coated wire, two end caps, two crimps, two crimp covers, one clasp, and eventually some jump rings to connect the clasp to the beadwork. Put a size 8 seed bead at the end of the thread as a stopping bead. Make a knot on the bead to fix the bead on the thread. Pick up this sequence of beads. 2 sides 11, 1 sides 8. 2 sides 11, 1 sides 8. 2 sides 11, 1 sides 8. And 2 sides 11. Sew through the stopping bead and all the beads of the sequence to close the working around. Go outside from the first size 11 bead after one of the size 8 seed bead. Now, every sequence to pick up will be composed by one size 8 and two size 11. Pick up one turquoise size 8 bead and two cream size 11 beads. Then, sew through the first size 11 seed bead after the next size 8. Choosing the right color is very easy. The sides 8 bead must have the same color of the sides 8 bead before the one you were starting from, while the two sides 11 beads must have the same color of the bead you are going to sew through. Again, pick up a new sequence. The sides 8 bead before the one I'm starting from is bronze, so I pick up a bronze bead. And I also pick up two pink size 11 beads because I have to sew through this pink bead here. I want to show you again the same step. I pick up the size 8 bead in the same color the one before the bead I'm going out. Then, since I have to sew through this size 11 bead here, I pick up two size 11 beads in the same color. Now we have to make the last step of the round. Pick up the bronze size 8 bead and two pink size 11 beads. Then we have to sew through the size 11 bead after the next size 8. So this is the next size 8. So we have to sew through this bead here. To be ready to start another round, sew also through the next size 8 and size 11 beads. At this point, we have to repeat the same steps. Choose the right sequence and sew through the size 11 bead after the next size 8 and go on like this until the end of the round. Remember to pay attention at every last step of the round. Here we are, another example. I've just picked up my sequence and then I sew through the size 11 bead after the next size 8. And I also sew through the next two beads to be ready to start another round. 
Once you have reached the length you need for the spiral, close the beadwork, sewing through the beads several times until you feel that the thread is fixed on the beadwork and then you can tie off the thread. Cut a piece of nylon coated wire, 10 cm longer than the spiral. Put a crimp at the end of the nylon coated wire. Make an eye at the end of it, sewing through the same crimp and then close the crimp using some pliers. Put the end cap and the beadwork on the wire. Add the second end cap and the crimp. Make another eye on the wire as we did before. Put the crimp cover on the crimp and now, using some jump rings, connect the clasp to the beadwork. Your bracelet is ready. I hope everything was clear. Thank you Valerie for sharing this pattern. Thank you for watching and see you soon on the next video. Bye bye!